I'd like to introduce Laura Duro from Troop 1557 from Columbus, Indiana. She's one of our first inaugural uh, female Eagle Scouts, and she's, uh, she's here with us today to share some of her thoughts and experiences about her time uh, with her troop. So my first question for you, Laura, is the Boy Scouts of America had been an all-boy program for over 100 years and recently opened up to include girls. How would you describe this program to other girls who may not know anything about the Boy Scouts of America? I would say it's a program that really challenges you to become a better person through many different things, but you can always find something interesting in the program no matter what you like to do. So some of my favorite activities is doing merit badges, going camping and meeting new people. That's really cool. That's, those are always some of my favorite things to do too when I was uh, in the Scouts. You have grown up on the sidelines of the Cub Scout and Boy Scouts program for much of your life while having brothers or other family members involved. What were your thoughts when you found out that this program would officially open the doors for you to be an official registered member in Scouts BSA? So I was actually very hesitant at first because I didn't really know what to expect. I did know that my brothers were in scouting and they enjoyed it, but I didn't know how I would feel about it. So at first I didn't really want to join, but my brothers kind of pushed me to go in and try, try to see what I liked about it. And I ended up really liking it. So I kept going and eventually get to Eagle. What were your thoughts? What were the thoughts going through your mind as you realized that you could become one of the first female Eagle Scouts in the Boy Scouts of America with such a short timeline ahead of you? Yeah, I was very excited because not many people get that chance to become Eagle Scouts. So I was very excited. I really wanted to go for that achievement. And I knew that people would really support me through that process. So I went for it. Yeah, and it was, uh, it was really neat to see you work so hard because, uh, you know, like we said, you, you didn't really have a lot of time to, to complete all your merit badges and things like that. So it was really neat to see you in action. Um, what was your biggest motivation or reason for earning the Scout's highest rank? Um, I think it was mostly just working on myself because there's a lot of things that scouting can help you with. And I know that to reach Eagle, you have to reach certain um, you have to achieve certain requirements, such as having leadership positions. And I really wanted to get to that point because I would know that I've gone through the entire process and become a better person. Very good. So who have been some of your best supporters along your trail to Eagle Scout? Um, definitely my Scoutmaster, Virginia Moats, my parents, my brothers, um, Ranger Ed and Aqua Ann at summer camp. Um, Rob Smith from my troop. Lots of people. Sounds like you had quite a team behind you. Yeah. What were some of your biggest obstacles to overcome while achieving your goal? Uh, definitely COVID because most of my uh, scouting experience was during the pandemic. So I had to figure out how to achieve requirements um, without putting myself or others in danger or at risk of COVID. So that was definitely the biggest one. And I would say that's, that's basically the only challenge I really had. Yeah. So you and I both love summer camp a lot. What were your thoughts as you attended your first year of summer camp as a scout BSA member and able to earn merit badges and participate in activities as a camper? Yeah. So I actually attended summer camp, um, summer 2019, uh, summer camp staff, um, I was very excited, but I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know that I was going to be teaching merit badges at first, but once I got into it and learned about those merit badges, it was really fun. Um, I got to earn merit badges along the time that I was um, serving as st a staff member. So I really enjoyed summer camp, and I think everybody should have that experience. Definitely. You've been elected as a member of the Order of the Arrow, Scouting's National Honor Society, by your peers. How does this make you feel and what, uh, what have you learned from this experience? Um, when I first found out that I was elected into it, I was very excited because obviously my peers were the ones who elected me into it. So I was very happy that they look up to me and know that I can achieve greater things in the order of the era. That's right. How do you feel that this training and high rank will help you in the future as it relates to your uh, goals as an adult? 
So it's definitely helped me become a better leader. So I think um, moving on from scouting, I'll always have those traits of being a leader and following the scout oath, scout law. So I think it's going to be very helpful in the future. So scouting is uh, getting ready to celebrate its 100th and 111th year. Uh, why do you think scouting uh, scouting is so important and why do you think um, America needs the scouting program? Well, the scouting program really makes people become very good people for society by making them leaders, um, encouraging them to serve the community. And I think those two things are very important. So everybody could benefit from scouts who have become Eagle Scouts. I think so as well. What do you love most about the troop you're in? Um, I would say the support because there's lots of people such as Virginia Moats, um, Mr. Hatchet, my parents, they're both in it, my brothers. So I think the sense of community in my troop is very strong and I really like that. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think, uh, what do you think your goals are moving forward, you know, in scouting and uh, in life in general? So in terms of scouting, I really want to stay active in my troop and contribute back by helping the scouts who are currently trying to get to Eagle. So there's lots of girls who I know are also aiming to become an Eagle Scout, so I really want to help them. Um, outside of scouting, I would like to go to IU and major in psychology, as well as get a minor in Chinese. So I'm very excited. <laughs> Um, what is that like for you to know that, I mean, you're, you're going down in history as one of the first Eagle Scouts? It's kind of unbelievable. Like, I don't really know what to think about it, but I'm very happy that I made it. And I've already been on the newspaper in town. So that's, I felt like I was very famous just for being like on the newspaper. So being down in history forever, it's, I can't really comprehend it. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Well, you sure make uh, Hoosier Trails Council, and I'm sure your your local troop very proud of you. And um, we're uh, we're so glad to be a part of this celebration with you. So, uh, thanks again for letting us talk with you for a little bit, and uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you. You too.